what's going on everybody welcome to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video now today we have josh freeman through the years he played his football college football at k-state then in the nfl he played for a handful of teams we're gonna get into that in a second i did this college teammate jordy nelson yesterday so make sure you click that video in case you missed it now in NCAA 07, he is a freshman at 77 overall with 85 speed, 84 agility, 85 acceleration, 56 awareness, 82 elusiveness, 88 throw power, and a 78 throw accuracy rating. Now, his real life numbers, he completed 51.9% of his passes as a freshman for 1,780 yards, 6 TDs, 15 interceptions, however. He also ran the ball 54 times for negative 21 yards. Two TDs on the ground. His best game was versus Texas. It was a win. He went 19 for 31 through for 269 yards, which was a season high for him with a season high. Three TDs, one interception, and one TD on the ground. NCAA 08. My man Josh Freeman comes in at 85 overall. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys if he is a bust. Is, is this a bust edition video? It's up to y'all. I don't know because I don't know too much. But it's certainly up to you guys in the comment section. Now, he's 85 overall with 70 speed, 65 agility, 74 acceleration, 72 awareness, 82 elusiveness, 92 throw power, 86 throw accuracy. He completed 63.3% of his passes, which is a huge upgrade. He also threw for 3,353 yards, 18 TDs, 11 interceptions, ran the ball 53 times for 4 TDs, negative 4 yards. Best game was versus Baylor. He threw for 247 yards and 3 TDs, which was a season high yet again. Into the play 09, he's 90 overall with 70 speed. 65 agility, 74 acceleration, 78 awareness, 82 elusiveness. He's consistent. 82 elusiveness his whole college career, 93 throw power, and 89 throw accuracy. He completed 58.6% of his pass for 2,945 yards, 20 TDs, 8 interceptions. He ran the ball 107 times for 404 yards and 14 TDs. So definitely the style of Kansas State's offense changed his last year there. His best game was versus Louisiana Lafayette. He threw the ball 20, 28 times, 21 completions, two TDs on the ground, two TDs through the air, and he was just, or three TDs through the air and threw for 272 yards. And he's 84 overall for his video game career as a college avatar, if you will. Anyways, in Madden 10, he's 74 overall as a rookie with 74 speed. Just 48 awareness. 96 throw power. 79 short accuracy. 78 medium accuracy. 78 deep accuracy. 85 throw on the run. Now, he played in a handful of games, but he went 3-6 and six as the starter. Completed 54% completed of his passes for 1,855 yards. 10 TDs. 18 interceptions his best game was a win versus green bay where he threw for 205 yards and he had a season high three tds and he they won that game 38 to 28 so that's pretty impressive for your first game to beat aaron Rodgers toe to toe blow for blow i mean that's pretty impressive madden 11 77 overall as a second year player with 74 speed yet again 62 awareness that's a big upgrade from 48 96 throw power 79 short accuracy 80 medium accuracy 76 deep accuracy and an 84 throw on the run now his numbers for this season look like this he was a full-time starter went 10 and 6 he did his thing he completed 61.4 percent of his passes for 3451 yards 25 tds in just six interceptions that is the lowest total of interceptions in college and in the pros as the full time starter now his best game came versus the seattle seahawks they beat that team 38 to 15. he had a career high or a season high i should say and it is a career high 80.7 completion percentage he did the same thing the next week versus the saints five tds in that game versus seattle which is a career high for 237 yards now we're in Madden 12. You saw him come out the tunnel because he was that dude. That's what everybody thought. 87, 87 overall, 74 speed, 
77 awareness, 97 throw power, 87 short accuracy, 84 medium accuracy, 81 deep accuracy, 93 throw in the run. I mean, this dude could not miss. He was one of those guys, man, that you thought had a bright future. Now, unfortunately, this season, they only went 4-11 with him as the starter. He did complete 62.8% of his passes, which is a career high for 3,592 yards, which was a career high at that time. 16 TDs, but 22 interceptions. His best game, in my opinion, was a 26-20 win versus New Orleans, where he threw for 303 yards, 2 TDs, and completed 56% of his passes. Those 2 TDs were a season high. It was a tie for the season high. Madden 13, 82 overall with 74 speed, 70 awareness, 97 throw power, 83 short accuracy, 73 medium accuracy, 85 deep accuracy. 87 throw on the run. So even though he had a down year, he's still pretty solid at 82 overall. Now the Bucks, with him as a starter, went seven and nine. He completed just 54% of his passes, 4,065 throwing yards, 27 TDs, and 17 interceptions. His best game, in my opinion, was a 28-35 loss to New Orleans, where he threw for 420 yards, three TDs. And also completed 57% of his passes. So that was pretty solid because his completion percentage was higher than what it was in real life. Still 82 overall, but a man of 25 who will play for the Vikings and he will play for the Buccaneers. 82 overall, 74 speed, 73 awareness, 97 throw power, 79 short accuracy, 74 medium accuracy, 85 deep accuracy, and 82 throw on the run. He managed to go 0-4. He was 0-3 with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 0-1 with the Minnesota Vikings. He only completed 42.9% of his passes for 761 yards, 2 TDs, 4 interceptions. Best game was a loss versus the Jets where he threw for 210 yards and 1 TD. And man of 15, he is a free agent. And he is 73 overall. He did not register a single stat for the NFL that year. Man of 15, he was on the Miami Dolphins when his game first came out. They would cut him. So he was basically a free agent. And I put him on the Colts because he did play one game for the Colts. He's 67 overall in the Madden 16 with 72 speed, 65 awareness, 90 throw power, 71 short accuracy, 67 medium accuracy, 60 deep accuracy, and a 75 throw and run. Like a matter of 12, they were all in the 80s. His throw power is at 97. All the accuracy stats were in the 80s. And then, what, a handful of years later, he's down kind of in the dumps, if you will. Now, his only game was with the Colts. He completed 53.6% of his passes. He went 1-0 that day, so he won his only start that year. He threw one TD, one interception, 149 yards. He is 74 overall for his career as a Madden NFL character. For all I know, he might get another chance in the NFL. Who knows? Teams are desperate for a quarterback, but most likely not. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up. As always, feel free to let me know who you want to see in a future episode. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And until next time, peace. Hazza.